Hi, I'm Heather Nichols from MonsterJam.com here with Candace Jolly, the driver of Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Candace, I hear it's your first time in Minneapolis, is that true? It's actually my first time driving here in Minneapolis. I was here seven years ago just to watch my first show, got to do a little bit of media. So this is the first time I'll ever get to drive my puppy here. I'm really excited. Awesome. Well, what are you most excited about for the event tomorrow? Are you more excited for the race or more excited for freestyle? I'm excited for all of it. You know, I absolutely love driving this truck, whether it's racing, whether it's freestyle. Driving this puppy all over the world has got to be one of my highlights of my year. Um, you know, the pit party tomorrow is going to be, I think, three hours. So we get to meet all these great fans here in many, which I'm really excited to do. I've had a lot of people on Facebook that have been, you know, call, texting me, sending me messages. You know, I'm so excited to get to meet you for the first time. You know get to see the puppy in person so I'm really excited about that and get to see all these great fans. That's so great. Well I know they'll be very excited to see you and the truck of course. Now I know that they're introducing tomorrow night new opening videos for everybody. How does that make you feel to really be officially part of the Monster Jam family? I'm excited for it, you know. I mean, every year they add new videos, and I've seen a couple videos um, that they've done over the years, you know, so I'm excited to see my own video. I just hope that I actually get a chance to see it before I have to go out for freestyle. Usually, as you're pulling up to the line and you're getting all buckled in, the last thing you're thinking about is a video, you know? Of course, you gotta be in the zone, I understand. Yeah. Well, I know you have a lot of really special fans that you're very close to. Have you heard from Brianna lately? I have, actually. Um, her, and, her mom and I are really good friends, so, you know, we talk back and forth and everything, and um, they're really excited. You know, I get to go back to Anaheim this year, and they've already made big posters and everything. And this weekend, my, my husband, my son, and my sister are flying up tonight. So, you know, my son's going to get to see his first TV show of the year in this great building. And, you know, we're really excited about all of it. Oh, that's so exciting. Well, what about Chad? I know he's another one of your super fans. Actually, Chad and I, and Ricky, his mom, and his dad, Mike, have actually spent a lot of time together. We actually just went flounder gigging up in North Florida. I know it sounds crazy. We did. Um, we had an absolute ball in Amelia Island. Uh, you know, getting to hang out with wonderful people like that and make great new friends and, and contacts in this business is one of the highlights of it, really. A friend of mine, Judy, uh, she's here from Texas, come up just for this show to Minneapolis. So um, she just texted me. She's outside getting her tickets. She's like, can you come down right now? I'm like, sure I can. So I'm going to go out and meet her. And you know, that that's the best part of this business is, you know, just getting to meet all the great people all over the world. Well, it sounds like you have such a great relationship with your fans, but I do have to ask for everybody out there, what is flounder gigging? You must explain <laughs> what this is now. Flounder gigging. Um, we actually watched on, sh on uh, TV that's extreme catches on Animal Planet. My little son is a, a major fisherman, chases. And so we watched it on TV, and there was a place up in North Carolina that did it. And it's where you actually go out on a boat at night, and they have like these little tritons that you stab these, these a flounder with. It's unbelievable. You can net redfish, you can net conch, you can net blue crabs, but you can, you can gig the flounder. So I was researching it online and found it in North Florida and I had contacted Chad and Ricky and I said hey you guys want to come up and do it and they're like absolutely you know it's an adventure uh -huh. <laughs> so we went out at like 6 45 at night and we didn't get back to like 11 o'clock and it's so much fun we're going back to do it <laughs> oh well that sounds so fun such a unique experience this is Candace Jolly everybody so great with her fans and I know a lot of them will be very excited to see you tomorrow night so good luck thank you so much